Beachgoers returned to Maracas Bay this morning following government's decision to allow beaches to be opened from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Kent Fuentes made the journey to the north coast alongside Rodney David. It was the first day since the 14th of April that persons have been able to take a bath at Maracas Bay. And the beachgoers were making good use of the 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. time allowed under the new regulations set up by government. For Dale Ventor, getting some time in the water with his family was something they missed greatly. I think it's long overdue and, um, and you don't appreciate how much you miss it until you come back, you know. For Mrs. Ventor, having access to the beach once again is something her children needed. It's hugely important because both of my children are school age and they've been in front of screens all term. And very often on a sunny day, they would look at me and say, perfect beach weather. And we'd have to say, well, you know, it's school today. So I think for both of them, it was something long awaited. And it's almost like an end of term celebration for them. Sulan Ramdeen and her niece Ava had a great day, especially with it being the little lady's first time experiencing the ocean. Very, very good. It's amazing. We enjoyed our swim today. And what did the future Olympian Eva think about the water? She enjoyed it. She enjoyed splashing. She will come again every day. As you can tell, the little lady needed another taste of the action before she can give you her breakdown of what her experience in the water was like. The lifeguards on duty were happy that persons were following their rules and those settled by government for their safety and enjoyment. Well, in terms of uh, the rules that is being set out, um, they're basically abiding by it. We have the, the mask wearing, the social distancing, and we observe that as well. The rough water warnings, we also have people are adhering to that because, I mean, as you can see, they're not venturing all that far under the instructions of the lifeguards. Kent Fuentes, TTT News.